spending Cause the girls in the hood are always hard Ever since 16 I've been having a job Knowing nothing in life, but I gotta get rich You could check the throwback pics, I've been that bitch uh. I'm a hot girl, I do hot shit I do hot Spend shit. income on my outfit on my I don't outfit. text quick, cause I ain't thirsty These bitches mad What's up y'all, it's Mele and I am the boss lady behind Trap Hair. We are a wig and weave company based in Aotearoa, New Zealand. We're from the dirty south, ow. If you haven't already, go and follow us on Insta at trap underscore hair for our latest content. Today we're going to be installing a front lace wig from Trap Hair. So on that note, let's get into it. You will need a wig cap, rubbing alcohol, got to be glued free spray, wig glue, white eyeliner, cotton buds, scissors, and some combs. Okay guys, so to prep the hair, you're gonna have to cornrow the hair down. This is the best method to use as it will make your head as flat as possible. I've gone ahead and I've used bobby pins just to pin the ends down from her cornrows. So her head is flat from the front to the back. We do not want a bulky back neck that is not cute. Step two is the applying of rubbing alcohol along the hairline. This removes makeup and natural oils that your skin produces. This is to ensure that the wig glue, when it's applied, it is on no oils. So as you guys can see here, I've, I'm currently using the white pencil liner. This just gives me an idea on how far I can go with the wig cap when I place it on. This is practically just a guide for me as the person that's installing the wig. This is placing the wig cap on. I did tuck it underneath her ears and there's a reason for that. I've gone ahead and I have used scissors to cut a little bit of a hole to put her earlobes in. This is just to make sure that when I am spraying the Gots To Be Glued spray, the wig cap does not move or does not fold up. So with the Gots To Be Glued spray, uh, it doesn't necessarily need to be this particular label. It could be actually any other hairspray. So as you guys can see, I've gone ahead and I've sprayed it along her hairline again. I am trying my best not to get it all over the wig cap because that's just going to create a big ass mess. It is best when you are spraying it on yourself or your girl, tilt the head back so the spray is not falling all over their face. And now I'm going in and using the hair dryer to dry out the product. You know when it's dry, when it goes all hard. We're actually doing this tutorial listening to Saweetie and our model is into it. <laughs> Okay, so it's time to cut the wig cap. This is actually the hardest part I feel is because you have to be real precise in cutting it because you don't want to cut it too low and you don't want to cut it too high or too close to the hairline and not cut yourself. So you're trying to focus on three things. Just take your time and everything should be great. Ow. Also, if I didn't mention when you are selecting your wig cap, you definitely have to get two shades lighter than your natural skin color to make your hairline that much more natural looking. Okay, so it's time to fit on the wig. So I like to see how the wig fits before I go ahead and place the glue on the hairline. I've just gone ahead and started sectioning off the hair away from the hairline so when it is time to glue, I'll just go ahead and glue. Now I know how I want the wig to look and how and where I want the wig to sit. I've gone ahead and taken it off and now I'm applying the wig glue along the edges of the wig cap. 
So as you guys can see, the way I'm laying it close to the edge as possible, this actually helps to make the lace and the wig cap blend in better with your skin. So the more glue you place on your hairline, the longer it stays on your hair. So one layer is probably for like a couple of days, three, four layers is for a month or so. So as you guys can see, I am getting the glue and I am pushing it down. This is what you do to mount the wig cap into your forehead. So now fitting on the wig, you go ahead and you push down the wig and you lock it into where you have glued. This is a real tricky part because you have to be quick and you have to be thorough and you have to make sure that all four combs inside the wig cap is inserted into your plaits, your cornrows, and that's how you ensure that your wig is on properly and no one is going to be snatching that off. So this was just a quick tutorial on how we install our wigs at Trap Hair. If you guys like our content, definitely go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. Share if you wanna. This channel is gonna be about tutorials, how to look after your hair, what methods you can try out for yourself at home, and practically anything else you guys want us to upload. We'll definitely try our best to do that for you guys. Thank you guys so much again for watching, supporting. We will catch you guys on our next tutorial. Let's go.